Hi everybody, it's Matt from trailbreak.com here. I wanted to make a quick video after one of my last posts about the Delta function. A lot of people either don't know about it or haven't used it or um, they, they don't really know how well it works. And I think it's one of the most powerful things in Race Studio Analysis and it's something I use all the time. So to use the Delta function, we can either click the triangle that is in the top right of our measures graph, and that's a, a delta button, or we can use the hotkey, just hit D. Um, typically for me, I just hit D. I find that's the easiest way. And what we're gonna do is we, we can either click the button or hit the hotkey, and then we pick our first point, and then we hit our second point. And we'll pick this minimum speed here. And um, when we do that, what you'll see that happens in here is you can see we can move it around if we click and hold, and in between the points we get a line. And what happens now is if we go up and we read information about our measures graph, we see the second point, the speed that we're at is 51.3. We see that the um, difference from the first point is 42.8 miles an hour. So this braking zone here, the car slowed down 42.8 miles an hour. Um, the last number in parentheses can change. And the way we can change what's in there is if we click on our wrench, our settings, and in the set measures plot, we can have that number shown with delta be nothing the rate and something to remember is that the rate is always um, per second the average of those are the average not zero um, so if we wanted an average speed over straightaway we could use um, the average function we can change that to whatever we want so the average speed between the two points that i selected is 68 and a half um, two other incredibly important things that I think the delta function does for us is in the top right of our measures graph we see that it gives us a parentheses in the time and it says 3.936 that's the seconds in between those two points so this breaking zone was 3.9 seconds long and in that breaking zone we covered 385.428 feet now that's great when we're trying to learn something just about a lap or we want to um, analyze how things go. An important part with the delta function too is to take it off. We can hit the D or hit the delta function again and it gets rid of that. One of the great ways to use the delta function is we can turn on another lap. And when we do that, we're just going to pick one here. and. If we zoom into a point where we have maybe a little different of a break zone. So I'm going to zoom in to the very first corner because I saw that we had a little bit of a difference in the break application. And when we do that, we can see these two points are off. And we can zoom in more and more. And we can estimate from this point to this point with some distance. And we can say if this is 100 feet on our scale, that that's maybe 30 feet. But if we use the delta function and we pick where both of these maximums are, we can then look at it and say the difference was 51 feet and it was 0.3 seconds. The really powerful thing in there is if you're trying to improve um, how long you carry the throttle or how long you wait to break or something like that, this time we know, well, it was 3 tenths of a second, 0.3 seconds, and it was 51 feet. So if our average brake boards are about 100 feet, it was half a board later. Um, this gives you something that when you try to coach yourself, you can use that to, uh, to put hard numbers to what you're trying to do. It's not break later, it's break 0.3 seconds later. It's break 51 feet later. Um, a really, really powerful tool to use in there. The other thing that we can do with the delta function as we go through is we can use it on the time compare. So if we just pick two points, I'm going to go back, turn on my delta function, and I'm going to say from where we were maybe up in time here, 
to where we lost all this time here. And we say, what is that difference? The scale difference is 0.264 seconds. So it tells you right there you're off by about a quarter of a second. Um, another really powerful way as you keep digging into your data and you want to see where those real differences are, it gives you a good chance to do that. Or we can use it and say here where there's this big speed difference we can turn our delta function on, pick between the two points, and then look at it and say, yeah, that, that speed difference that we saw from the green line to the red line cost almost 0.1 seconds, 0.098. Um, we can get that from in, in the time compare, or we can read the actual number, the quantitative value right here. Uh, last quick point with the delta function is that we can drag the point along and it gives us to all different points if we want to compare different lengths of track and we can also see where the second point is based on the cursor on our GPS map so as we move that around it'll show us that point as well um, I hope you find this helpful um, if you have questions about the Delta function feel free to post back up or if you see this on social media feel free to email uh, or reach out to us in any way that works for you. Thanks for listening, and I hope to talk to you some more.